I cannot imagine anyone thinking this is a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Not everyone's on board with the American Rounds ammunition vending machine at the Lowe's Market on Sattler Road in Canyon Lake. But according to the American Rounds CEO, Grant Majors, this doesn't work like any old vending machine. This is a video they posted on their website. You can see here we have, you know, a very secure automated retail machine. We're able to age verify. We scan a driver's license. It then takes 360 facial recognition for the purchase and matches it to the ID. Much different than just putting in your dollar in the machine dropping out your chosen delight. However, it's not just the increased availability of ammo that's a concern to some. It's also the fact that this machine is in a store that's located less than 200 yards from a middle school. There are literally every day after school children hanging out in that parking lot, going in to buy snacks. It, it's just extra disturbing to me that it's in a place where children have direct access to it. Speaking with employees at the market today, they said the machine was put in because that's what their clientele is interested in. And most of the people I spoke to today feel the exact same way. I enjoy shooting. I'm a Texan. I think everybody should have the right to buy guns and ammo if they, if they license for it and everything. We reached out to the owner of Lowe's Market today, but did not get a response. Bullets and bread. Some Oklahoma grocery stores now have vending machines that sell ammunition. News Channel 8 C.J. Macklin found one in Wetumpka that's about 80 miles south of Tulsa. He spoke with the CEO of the ammunition company about what exactly inspired them to do this. In the city of Wetumpka, there is not an ordinance regulating vending machines or ammunition sales. I spoke with the city's attorney over the phone. And he said this deal was done between a private contractor and a private business owner. Honestly, my very first opinion when I saw the vending machine, I had to walk up to it and go see if it was real. Because I thought it was really funny. I was like, whoa, vending machines were like snacks and pops and now you can get ammo out of it. The evolution of vending machines has reached another level. A level that could be the future on how ammunition is sold all over the U.S. American Rounds has been around for less than a year and already has ammo dispensers in several states, including four right here in Oklahoma. We traveled about an hour and a half south to find one of those locations in Wetumpka inside the Super C Mart. My partner and I were you know, looking at this technology and some other industries. And, uh, we had some, uh, some strategic partnerships with some folks in the grocery business. Um, and the grocery stores actually brought the idea to us. The CEO says the grocery stores that reached out to them said they wanted to offer ammunition as a sales category at their stores like Walmart does. The ammo vending machines or dispensers at American Rounds also has a facial recognition scan to check your identification to make sure there's no fraud when purchasing the ammunition. The CEO says the machine is quick and easy to use, but will residents in Wetumpka use it? Honestly, I see really no problem with it. If it's monitored and it's by an, like a system that scans the ID and scans you and makes sure you are who you say you are, I don't feel like anything can go wrong. This is just the same as buying it from a clerk. No one's appeared at any city council meeting to express either positive or negative feedback. And I'll, I'll say that in a small town is equated to positive feedback. American Rounds provides ammunition for hunting, personal protection, and at home protection, from shotgun bullets to rifle bullets to handgun bullets. But safety is always first. We believe we're a step in the right direction to safety. And you know we're gonna continue as a company to always uh, do that safe, secure, maintain the integrity of the Second Amendment. The American Round CEO says he has never had to provide his identification when buying ammunition. He wants this new approach to give Oklahomans peace that someone who buys ammunition in grocery stores is verified to do so. In Wetumpka, I'm TJ Macklin, Lucia A Tuscaloosa grocery store has removed a vending machine after the legality of the machine was questioned this week. Now, this vending machine doesn't sell drinks, snacks, or toys, but something very different. I got some calls about ammunition being sold in grocery stores. Vending machines. The vending machines. Is that, I mean, I, I, I thought it was a lot. I thought it was a joke, but it's not. It's not. The vending machine is made by American Rounds. This is video from their YouTube showing the install of one of these machines in Pell City. And as far as we know, this machine is still in use there. The video shows ammo being delivered, loaded into the machine, and the security measures in place to ensure the buyer is 21 or older. 
The CEO for the company says in this video, this is a way to expand access to ammo in a safe way. As you can see here, we have you know, a very secure automated retail machine. We're able to age verify. We scan a driver's license. It then takes 360 facial recognition for the purchase and matches it to the ID. So the machines really provide an opportunity for safe, affordable, and available ammunition sales. So as to Councilman Kip Tyner's question about whether these machines are legal, according to the city's legal department, they are, provided they are installed in retail businesses with appropriate zoning. Uh, ammunition vending machines. The machines are in three states already, including Alabama and Oklahoma. The company that makes them is now trying to expand across the south, including here in the Sunshine State. WEAR's Sarah Gale shows us how the machines work and has some reaction to the idea. Grant Majors is the CEO of American Rounds, an ammo vending machine company. He says they could soon be coming to Florida. We've had a lot of requests to, to expand to Florida. We have uh, some opportunities currently there. And um, so it is, it, is in the, it is in the plan. Before you buy the bullets, the machine uses ID scanners to verify your age and uses facial recognition to match your face with the one on your ID. It's going to do a facial recognition scan, pair your picture, to the ID so that it says, okay, yes, this is the person that, that owns the ID, the, the face is matched. And then only then can the transaction be complete. I have no problem with how they have it set up to where you have to be you know, of age to buy the ammunition due to facial recognition, the ID matching the face. I think that's fantastic. The machines would be located in retail locations like grocery stores. And we spoke to Stan Butler, who's the owner of Mike's Outdoor Sports. He tells me he wouldn't mind having one of these vending machines for his store. It would be great for us to put outside for somebody to come in after we close or before we open to pick up rounds to go to the range or go hunting or whatever the situation may be. I did ask Butler if he was worried these might take some business away from him. For every box of ammo that's not sold here is one less that we will sell. However, uh, I, I wouldn't have anything against them being in every store in Pensacola. I would think that, that the majority of folks during business hours would probably rather walk in and talk to one of us. And Major says this is actually another safer and easier way to buy ammo. Right now ammo is sold, you know, on the internet where any miner can click that they're 21 or 18 or whatever that state law is and they can have they can have 2,000 rounds shipped to their house. Sarah Gale, WEAR News. And we asked local law enforcement if they had any concerns over the idea. They declined to comment until the machines are actually in the state. From Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas, and now Colorado, residents of rural towns may notice new distribution machines, which focus on providing more convenience to ammunition purchases, but lowers accessibility. You know, we saw that this was an opportunity to, you know, improve the ammunition retail space and actually make it safer while maintaining the integrity of the Second Amendment. Now, while these vending machines may resemble standard ones such as this, there is a very big difference between how you and I can purchase a soda than how you can purchase ammunition. Yeah, I think there's been some misconception that you know we're just going to place these everywhere that a vending machine style product would go, right? That's not, not the case at all. You know, we're not interested in putting them in every location. As technology advances, Majors also wants the firearm industry to catch up. There's a need within the entire industry to look at technology and try to apply it in, in a way to make the firearms market, the ammunition market safer for the communities. Safety precautions include a 21-year age requirement, ID verification, and secure locations. All of this to ensure responsible usage. In the end, the purpose of these new machines is threefold. We care about law-abiding, responsible gun ownership. We want to maintain the you know, integrity of the Second Amendment and and you know offer something of value to customers.